A surprise home visit at an ex-con's house turns up an arsenal of weapons that lands the man back behind bars. Andy Cordan has been following this story out of Williamson County. He joins us now with pictures that you will only see here on News 2 in this crime tracker alert. Andy. Hey there, guys. Lane Locke was the getaway driver for a botched armed robbery. That was in 1996. It was at a Nashville Hooters. Now, a man was shot and killed during that crime. Locke, he was sentenced to 55 years in prison. He did 14 years. He was paroled in 2010. Drum magazine here. Lane Locke on parole for facilitation of first degree murder. He was working as an appliance mechanic. Basically laid low at his Franklin home for some 12 years. This is an AR-15. Then on March 2nd, Williamson County deputies went with TDOC officers on a surprise visit. He said what I have is probably going to send me back to prison. Officers tell me the 55-year-old ex-con was living with his mother. In fact, this was found behind the door and keeping an arsenal in his Cotton Lane home. So here I have an AR-15 drum magazine. According to detectives, as an ex-con on parole till 2044, Locke is not allowed to possess any firearms. Investigators tell News 2, Locke had 18. So this is thousands worth of weapons, including long guns. Drum magazine here. AR-15s. This must have been just unbelievably surprising. Handguns. Prohibited weapons, brass knuckles, close to a thousand rounds of ammunition, and multiple tactical vests. Locke also has marijuana and cocaine at his home. Marijuana, cocaine, and these are cartridges for THC. Deputies tell News 2 once officers make entry, Locke is compliant, telling the lawmen he knows that he's going back to prison. So he told detectives with all the things going on in the world today, he needed to be armed like this. And I'm told that the ATF has been involved in this case. They're checking to see if the weapons in Mr. Locke's home are stolen or perhaps used in other crimes. Back to you, Eric. All right.